Saturday night in Salt Lake City. The Jazz and Al Jefferson hosting Zach Randolph and the Grizzlies of Memphis. Memphis has been hot, but Saturday night they were unable to extend the winning, even though Zach Randolph got him off to a good start. Two times inside, he had 11 points in the first quarter, and Memphis was looking for their eighth road win in 10 tries. But then Derek Favors for the two-hander, keeping it a tight ball game in Utah. Al Jefferson capping an 11-2 run by the Jazz to end that first quarter. We move ahead to the second. Zach Randolph, he finished with 19 for the visitors from Memphis, Tennessee, Utah, and Memphis tied at 42, final minute of the first half. Bottom for Jared Bayless. He had 24 points. At half, Memphis had a five-point lead. Hot Rod Hundley, the all-time favorite, former voice of the Utah Jazz in attendance. On the move, Paul Millsap giving Utah a two-point lead. Then Mo Williams working the baseline. And coming up with the J. Utah began to pull away. Here's a weird sequence. Check it out. Mark Gasol loses his shoe as he was inadvertently stepped on. But the refs don't stop, so the play continues with the shoeless Gasol. He has the shoe in his hand. He uses the shoe to knock the ball away with some sneaky D. Not too sure about that. Mike Connolly with the steal and the easy two as Memphis got within two of Utah. Later, though, Derek Favors wheels and deals for the home team in Salt Lake City to give them a four-point advantage. And then Jared Bayless. Oh, my! A huge three-pointer to pull Memphis to within three. But in the end, Gordon Hayward knocked down a big three-pointer of his own. Utah knocking off the Grizz from Memphis on a Saturday night with a six-point victory.